the church into false doctrine. And you listen to me, every one of you prosperity preachers. Jesus Christ did not die on a cross. He did not take the stripes on his back. He did not take a crown on his head. His side was not pierced that we may drive Rolls Royces and buy $12,000 dogs and live in $40 million homes. But he died on a cross to save mankind from the power of sin and the grip of darkness. And shame on you. Shame on you. Shame on you. Man's problem is not what kind of suit he wears or what kind of house he lives in or what kind of house he dri or car he drives. Man's problem is sin and man needs a savior and that savior is Jesus Christ. There must be a reformation of the cross. There must be a reformation of the... Oh, you're not getting it. I said there must be a reformation of the cross. The church must come back. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. The church must have a reformation of Christ and him crucified. I'm angry. I'm mad. I'm tired of God's people being fleeced. We, listen, you better hang on and buckle your seatbelts. We don't need any more prosperity pimps leading the church into spiritual idolatry. said we don't need any more prosperity pimps leading the church down a primrose path of destruction we don't need any more snake oil salesmen we need men of God who will stand behind a pulpit and preach the gospel I'm going to say it again. If you're preaching that lie of the greed, you are a prosperity pimp. I said, if your gospel is the gospel of greed, you're a pros prosperity pimp. And you're going to stand before God and give an account for every single message that you preached on that. Souls are dying and going to hell and you're prostituting the word of God. Men are bound by alcohol and you're prostituting the word of God. Homosexuals bound and dying in their sin and you're prostituting the gospel of Jesus Christ. Prosperity pimps. Let me tell you what's going on. And let me tell you what's going to happen. Jesus said, when he walked into the temple, my house shall be called a house of prayer, but you have made it a den of thieves. You are thieves. And I remind you what happened. He cleaned the place out. And he's going to clean the place out again. Your day is numbered. Your day is numbered. Your day is numbered. He's about ready to turn over those tables. He's about ready to throw you out. My house shall be called a house of prayer. Where people can get saved, not have success seminars. I'm sick and tired of preachers 
saying, we don't want Kmart Christians in this church. They, won't, they don't want you, but Jesus wants you. I don't care if you ain't got shoes on your feet. Jesus wants you. I don't care if you ain't got two dimes for your head. Jesus wants you. I don't care if you don't know where your next meal is coming from. Jesus wants you. Where tonight are the preachers that will stand up and take a stand? Where are they? We need Jeremiah's. We need some Daniel's. We need some Isaiah's. We need some Jehoshaphat's. We need some David's. We need some Hezekiah's that says, I'm sick and tired of a dirty temple. It's time to clean it.